Hello guys, good morning. Well, good afternoon. It's like one something in the afternoon right now. I'm heading to the train. And of course, it's raining again. <laughs> Fighting for my life with this rain this season. Today we are going to the woman that does our PR for Sailor. Her name is Allie. We're We are headed to Allie's. Um, she actually lives in Dumbo, so I'm going to meet her at her apartment because her and I need to meet and talk about some things. <laughs> but yeah, just wanted to enter the vlog and welcome back to the channel. <laughs> editing shy hopping in to add some context so as I mentioned my friend Dwayne was filming for me which was super sweet but sadly the mic was off the entire time but I think this footage is super cute so I wanted to give a little context it didn't come in with voiceover which I never do so this goes to show you I love you Dwayne jump scare hi Chris <laughs> But I thought I'd take this opportunity to talk about Evocation, which is my friends and I's company. So today we did a test shoot for a brand named William Frederick. We are shooting our lighting setup because our shoot is next Saturday. And we wanna make sure that we have everything in order for the shoot. So Cam, who is this lovely man in the green shirt, he is our director, he is a fantastic filmmaker, he is actually in the process of getting his masters from Columbia. He's just amazing with lighting, he typically does all of our lighting setup. We have Chris as well, Chris is in the orange beanie, he is another insane creative. He actually makes music and he's a photographer, videographer, kind of just multifaceted person. Chris acts as our DOP, which stands for Director of Photography. So he is typically who is behind the camera when it comes to filming and handling any type of video work. With his music background, he also does a lot of our sound. So he's our sound guy. So the designated person that holds the boom whenever we need sound for a project. And if he is not filming, he is our assistant photographer, second to Tosin typically. Next up we have Tosin, which as I mentioned, is our main photographer and videographer. When he's not doing that, if he's not behind the camera, he's directing. So typically he's who is directing Chris. Um, Cam is our director as well, like I mentioned, but Cam is typically our film director, so when we have big film projects like our St. Lucia project, Cam took charge of that, and Tosin will typically direct Chris on how to take a photo, what angle he wants, things of that nature. He's an insane film photographer, and he's completely self-taught. He's taught himself different forms of film, so he can shoot 35 millimeter, medium format, large format, he also just recently taught himself tintype photography, so we've began experimenting with that. Basically, any type of film this man can get his hands on, he will learn it. And on top of that, he can shoot digital as well. He's really just a creative powerhouse. He's also a writer, so he's began writing a lot of our scripts for any video work that we need. Um, we also have Vinny, who is not really working this shoot, but Vinny is our set designer. He's not working today because he has to go to his actual 9 to 5 later this evening, but he did show up to set just to 
give us some moral support and hang around with us because at the end of the day we're all friends. Vinny is an insane creative. He has a great mind. He can kind of do anything that he wants. He has operated our cameras before, but his main role is our set designer. So anytime we have a set that we need to build out or if we need to location scout, Vinny is kind of our main go-to guy for that. We also have Dwayne, which I don't have any footage of Dwayne. He's behind the camera, as I said, but Dwayne is the newest member of our team. And lately he's just been filming a lot of our BTS work. So all of our BTS photography, videography, he's great with that. He's also a great editor and he's really been helping Cam out with editing any of our video work that we have going on. But Dwayne is just super talented. He has a great eye. Chris and Dwayne are roommates. So if you guys are familiar with my vlogs, you've probably seen me over their apartment before. We also have Neff. Neff is not on set, so we don't have any footage of him to show you, but Neff is kind of our manager. We joke that <laughs> Neff is our PR and I am our HR. Being that I am the only girl on the team, I'm typically the one that calms the guys down, but Neff is just amazing. He is a go-getter and a marketing genius, so he handles a lot of our bookings. He has started taking over a lot of the communication with our clients and organizing that and really just assisting on set. So he'll act as an AD, which is an assistant director. Neff is also a musical artist, so he's an amazing rapper as well. So with that, he has a lot of connects in the music industry. So we really want to branch out into a lot of events and Neff has kind of been our event coordinator for that connecting us with different musicians or DJs and things like that. We also have Dre. Um, I don't think you guys have seen a lot of Dre, but Dre is an amazing photographer as well. We have him on the team kind of as our light tech because Dre is a fantastic digital photographer. Dre is really a fashion photographer first and foremost, but he can kind of do anything and everything. He's dabbled with acting as well. <laughs> you might hate that I'm putting that out there, but yeah, he's a great, great photographer. Any type of digital camera, he's really got it down packed. So with that, he does amazing lighting setups. He does a lot of things in the industry like shooting models headshots just because his lighting is so clean and the way that he sees lighting is just super crazy. So we have him do a, a lot of our lighting for any project that we have. So that's what he's doing today and that's what he'll be doing on the actual shoot day for William Frederick because as I mentioned, William Frederick is a clothing brand. So we wanna get good lookbook lighting um, and then we have me. So <laughs> my background is fashion merchandising. So I do our styling and art directing. So on set today, I am prepping all the clothes. I'm styling the models, making sure that it fits within the vision of the brand and kind of the idea for the test shoot that we want to do. But yeah, that's our evocation team. <laughs> I wanted to take the opportunity to introduce everyone and kind of give you a behind the scenes look of how we operate on set. First and foremost, we're really friends and family and the little collection of us that we've built has just felt amazing and super heartwarming and I love working with these guys and I wanted to show you guys a bit of it. So thank you for watching. <laughs>
Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Tuesday, April 9th, I think. Um, I'm testing out my new camera this week, so let's hope and pray that this is good. Um, yeah, we filmed some bits from our shoot on Saturday. We had a test shoot because I have a shoot for William Frederick clothing on this Saturday. But we filmed our test shoot and somehow my mic was off the entire time. So <laughs> I don't think I have any audio footage. To be very honest, I haven't even looked at the footage that I got. Um, my friend Dwayne was filming. I think I'm still going to include it in the vlog. You guys probably still saw it as B-roll. <laughs> but yeah, I feel really bad because Dwayne, like, I just gave him my camera and told him to go to town. Because, like I said, I'm trying to test out this new camera. And I think somehow he was playing around with the settings and we hit a wrong thing. And yeah, it just turned the mic off. <laughs> I think it's working now. Honestly, I'm taking this clip as a test right now. Um, before I start my day. It's Tuesday and normally we have for my job our 10 a.m. meeting but we moved it today to noon instead so I'm having a bit more time to myself this morning but just wanted to pop on the camera and start my normal routine like making coffee with you guys, making my bed but yeah let's get the day started. <laughs> So today's plans, <laughs> I need to work like usual, obviously. I need to do some UPCs for my job. So that's literally making the barcode for our clothes um, because I just closed our pre-fall season about two weeks ago and I need to send out everything for that. And then later tonight, I am going to the tell. So I'm very excited for that. Um, I don't really know how to describe it. It's an event put on by a friend of mine, Michael Levison. I met him. Oh, <laughs> Sky wants to say hello. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I met him through Tosin. He is a photographer, a musician, just a showcase that he puts on of different artists. So whether they're musicians, poets, a uh, spoken word artist or, artist or just storytellers. He has a collection of artists that he gathers for each tell and he just has them do a performance. So that is happening tonight at seven. So I will likely meet Tosin at his apartment and then we'll go from there, I'm assuming. We haven't discussed it, but that would probably make the most sense because well, I mean, it's easy for me to get into Manhattan, but I do think I'm going to go over there to do laundry because <laughs> I do my laundry at Tosin's house, um, not at a laundromat or anything, and I do have laundry to do. So I think I'll head to his house and then we can go from there. That way I can do a load 
etc etc but yeah um i washed my hair last night also and this is my first time ever i have a little band in right now but this is my first time ever washing it at night and just like putting it i wouldn't really consider this a ponytail but i mean i guess it's a ponytail i just put it up and then i put my bonnet on top of it kind of like a pineapple i know a lot of girls do that but i've never experimented with that so i'm interested to see how my hair looks for tonight kind of looks a little a little kooky right now i mean my curls i can see my curls look good on the bottom i'm not so sure about the top so we'll we'll see about that but i'm hoping that my wash and go for tonight <laughs> looks really good but yeah let me go make my coffee because i kind of need to get my day started i feel like i'm having a little bit of a slow start to this day but i have been playing around with my camera like i said and then i did end up watching the old footage back i figured it out um Dwayne shot in s and q mode so <laughs> that's why which is a more like cinematic setting it looks really good the footage looks really great but you can't hear any of us so <laughs> that's fun <laughs> let's go make coffee and breakfast i guess <sighs> let's get the day started I 